In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Fusion Connected Textures for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up modrinf, like this. Now enter, here you'll find modrinf.com, click on modrinf, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. Here, simply go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mods. Now go to search mods, and search up Fusion, like this. So this is Fusion, and as you can see, there is one with only Fusion, and Fusion Connected Textures. This is the one we want here, so if you want this one to be first, just type in Connected Textures here, and you'll see it as first. But here, this is the one we want here, with 6 million downloads from the time of this video. So here, just click on the mod's name, and it'll bring you here. Okay, from there, simply go to versions, and then go to game versions, and choose 1.21.11. Here, what you wanna do is, in this case, probably get Fabric, as it's the most popular one here. So for this video, we will get Fabric, and if you need Neoforge, well, you'll have to go ahead and download Neoforge, but in this case, there is more downloads for Fabric, so we'll go ahead and follow this line. So, what we will do here is find the one for 1.21.11, Fabric, and then click on the green download button. Okay, so this is the first step here. Now to continue, what you want to do is go to the name here for the mod, and this is the version name. So what's going to happen is, once you're going to scroll down, there will be a dependency called Fabric API. Click on this button, and all you have to do here is go to versions here, and just like before, go to game versions and choose 1.21.11. Okay. And here, all you have to do is go ahead and find the latest release for this, for 1.21.11, it will be for Fabric, and then click on the green download button. And there you go. So you now have Fabric API and Fusion. So that is what we need. Now, Fusion by itself doesn't do much. So, for example, if we go back to Fusion here, what's going to happen is if we go to Description, we'll have a list of resource packs. Now, there is way more resource packs here, and actually supports Fusion, but in this case we have some resource packs that you can go ahead and choose from. So for example, we have Fusion official resource packs and third-party resource packs. So for example, for this video, I'll just choose this one here, the first one, whatever. And once you're on a page like this, go to versions, choose game versions, and 1.21.11. And once you're here, click on the green download button. Now if you have a resource pack already, no problem. I am just doing this just to show you how to use Fusion. Okay, once you have this, what you can do is go to Fabric to get Fabric mods to work in Minecraft. You can do this by going to a new tab, going to your search bar, and searching up Fabric Minecraft, like this. Now enter, here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on Fabric, it will bring you to this page here. Now go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for Windows button. Okay. So once you do this here, all you want to do is make sure you have all the files, and if you do have this, you can close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine. Now you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, you should find Fabric Installer somewhere, double click it, and what's going to happen? A installer window will show up. Here, make sure all the information is correct, such as the Minecraft version. If it is, click on install. Okay, and close. Here, go to the Minecraft Launcher. Okay, so once the Minecraft Launcher will open up, we'll be able to add the two mods, the mods folder. So, here is the Minecraft Launcher, and all you have to do is go to Installations here on the top, then hover over Fabric Loader, and go to the folder icon. Okay, once you're here, what you want to do is simply go on Mods, and double click it. Once you're here, go to Downloads, Select Fabric API and Fusion, and copy these mods. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to VS folder, and then click on Paste. This is the first step. Here, go back to the DOM Minecraft folder, and go to Resource Pack, which is right here. And once you're here, go to Downloads, and pick your Resource Pack. This might be different for you. Just pick one of those, and then go to the top left arrow to go back to VS folder, and click on Paste. And there you go. You copy pasted this resource pack, two Minecraft resource packs, and we also have a mod here. 
So here you can go to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and then click on play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once Minecraft has opened up, you can go to single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll go to single player world here, and you can go ahead and activate the resource pack. So for example, this is normal Minecraft, nothing shocking. But if we go ahead and go to escape, options, resource packs, you'll see that we have one resource pack here. Click on the play button here from available to selected and do done. And what's going to happen is that we're going to have our connected textures like this. So as you can see, this is a very small change, but it is still noticeable. And of course, you can have other types of resource packs. And of course, what can happen is that you might have mods which uses fusion to run. So in this case, the mod itself is going to come with its resource packs. But in this case, this is how we get resource packs that work with fusion. And this is also how we download and install fusion for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.